Hey everyone, welcome back to B-Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. Well, it's arguably the busiest day for postseason play in Kern County high school sports history. Over 40 events in boys basketball and boys and girls soccer in the central section playoffs. We've got highlights from two basketball games and a recap of nearly every match and pl game played tonight. Let's go straight to it. On the hardwood in the Central Section Division I opening round boys basketball playoffs, number 11 Central out of Fresno, the three-time defending Central Section D1 champs, just 9-15 this season at number 6, VHS, the Drillers, undefeated in the Southwestern Seminary League play. We've got a nine-game win streak heading into this one, and on the opening tip, VHS had the lead, but here a three-pointer by Sherrick Berry, and it cuts the lead. VHS, though, David Watley, 20 points tonight, goes up, can't get it, but Costa Bacacus there with the putback, and the Drillers had a 29-26 lead at the half. More Watley here, nice putback there. And so the Drillers had a nice lead going into halftime, just three points, though. Nice reverse here by Tariq Sharp, and that cuts the lead to 31-29 in the third. BHS with the ball now. Josh Geary outside. Sam Ackerman, corner three. That one gives the Drillers a four-point lead in the third quarter. Central with the ball here. And one for Sharp, and it's a 36-34 Driller lead in the third. Nice hustle here. Both teams, BHS comes away with it. Geary gets the ball. Carl Jones, yeah, he likes it. Sure, why not? Cox, nice floater there. 42-41 after three. Driller lead. Watley gets the nice shooter's bounce here. And then Ackerman will get the ball. Nice defense here. Goes in. Nine points tonight. Drillers victorious, 69-52. They're at number three, Royal Grande, in the quarterfinals on Friday. And the 6-11 matchup in Division Three boys basketball action over at North the Band. Always a favorite of mine to see a live band in action. Nice job there. The Stars with a 50-45 lead here midway through the fourth quarter. Chris Gentry with the three. Quick timeout for the North, and they've got a, for the Stars, and they've got a six-point lead. Tamir Mitchell over to A.J. Keys, a nice layup. Now it's 55-47, nice give and go. Shannon Ferguson, Larry Ackerson, back to Ferguson. And then Tamir Mitchell up, layup off the right hand. And the Stars pulling away, and A.J. Sharon in his first year as a head coach at North. Looking to get a victory here. Nice outlet for Ferguson, Ackerson. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, 70-55 victory for the North. Stars and they advance. They'll at they'll be at number three Singer in the quarterfinals in D3 on Friday. Well, let's get right to this, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a scoreboard and boys basketball action. Liberty down big, nearly makes the comeback here on the road, but St. Joe's beats them 79, 77, 27 points for Isaiah Hill in the victory. Another boys basketball action in Division Two. Independence victorious at home, 70-60 win over Napomo. Shafter had lead. Late in the second quarter, but falls at number one, Mount Whitney, 60-49 to in D3. Chavez victorious over Tatchby, 70-63. to And Garces at home, big 66-29 winner over Templeton in the, Templeton in the 5-12 matchup. And Dinuba ends East season, 63-46 winner. And in Division Three as well, Emmanuel holds on, barely beats West, 79-75 in the 2-15 matchup. D4 action. Madera South, 61-55, winner over McFarland. Miramonte victorious, 72-69 over Washington Union, D4. Foothill, 83-58, winner over Kennedy. Big night there, as you can tell, for the Southeast Yosemite League. Taft victorious tonight, 63-55 over Colinga. Cal City victorious at the defending D5 chance, 79-66, winner over Corcoran. Desert Loses to Bishop, 68-62. Boys soccer action, South on the road. Defeats Clovis East, 1-0. Royal Grande defeats Golden Valley, 3-0. Bullard defeats Liberty, 4-1. Ridgeview defeats Clovis, 2-1. And Santa Maria defeated Centennial, 3-0. And D2 action of boys soccer, El Diamante, 4-0 winner over Frontier. Fresno needed overtime, but they defeat Highland tonight, 3-2. Wasco, a 4-1 winner over Roosevelt, 
We do not have a score from the Kerman Delano game in Division Four, but Woodlake does de defeat McFarland three nothing. Arvin a seven two winner over Tehachapi. Chavez loses to Miramonte three to one in D five action. Liberty Madera Ranchers defeats Rosamond two nothing. Desert season ends in an eight two loss to Fowler, and Bishop de defeats Kennedy one nothing. No score from Taft Crothers. And a D6 action, no score from the Fresno Christian Fraser Mountain game. And girls soccer action, Liberty in overtime at home defeats Clovis East 1 0. Fresno, and Frontier, Fresno Central and Frontier had to go to PKs, and the Grizzlies win it in Division I action. Madera defeats Bakersfield 3 2. And D2, Garces is victorious 2 1 over Napomo. D3 action, Ridge season comes to an end, and a 2 0 loss to Mission Oak out of Tulare. Mount Whitney defeats Independence 2 to 1 and D4 action Foothill advances on PKs in a 1-1 game against West Orosi defeats Desert in D5 3 nothing Lindsay a 2-1 victory over Chavez Bishop defeats Kern Valley 4 to 2 no score from Rosamond Summit Charter out of Porterville and Corcoran defeats Fraser Mountain one nothing, and in softball action, Big Soul Christian victorious over Sierra Pacific out of Hanford, eleven to five. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One of the busiest days ever for playoff action around Kern County. We brought you as many of the scores as we can tomorrow night. Quarterfinals of girls basketball action. We'll have highlights from East Kern Valley in the four or five matchup in Division Five. Until then, I'm Trevor Horn. You guys have a great night. Bye bye. <laughs>